Did you know that the uh, the smile in the Amazon logo that ends up being a like a point, like that, an arrow type of thing, like an arrow, right? It goes from A to Z. Does it? Everything from A to Z. That's what the logo means. Let's go look this up right now. All right, for what's the buzz today? We're talking all about <laughs> age because, of course, I just celebrated turning the big five zero. So let's talk a, a little bit about getting older. So joining us on that note, the discussion today, Mary Liz Curtin, she's the owner and Leon and Lulu of Leon and Lulu and Three Cats Cafe in Clawson. Good morning. So flattered to be in invited to a thing about being old. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Jason Hall with Ride Detroit and Blaine Fowler, the host of the Blaine Fowler Morning Show on 96.3 WDVD. Uh, thanks, morning. everybody. Happy birthday. Oh, thank Happy you. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you, my Serving friends. Serving America for over half a century. <laughs> uh, there's a saying that age ain't nothing but a number. Do you agree with that? No. <laughs> Care to elaborate? It's, a gr it's such a good theory, but, you know, things happen. Things slide. Things aren't where they used to be. But it's okay because you can't see them anymore. That's a good philosophy. What do you guys think? What do you think, Blaine? <laughs> You know, I honestly think uh, age, yeah, yeah, it is kind of, it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, you can, you can, uh, listen, I think like a 13-year-old, I kind of act like a 13-year-old. Unfortunately, I have the body of a 52-year-old. Yeah. Exactly. Doesn't mean maturity. Nice haircut, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Jason, uh, thank what you. do you think? Yeah, no, now that Blaine put it in that context, yeah, I guess I was like, what are, you, what are we talking about? But I guess, yeah. Because I'm, I'm right along those same lines. I'm about a 15-year-old kid in mentality in mm -hmm. real life, trapped in this body. So, no, I'm with you on that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, what about... And it's some sometimes a shock when you try to do something you think you should be able to do, and you can't quite jump that high anymore. Right. Or yeah, jump that far. I jumped off my deck the other day just to grab something. I was like, I can do this. It's only five feet. Good Lord. I almost broke my knees. <laughs> the bad idea. What about something like... Uh, 50s the new 40 or 40s the new 30 or 60s the new 50s. Oh, I agree with that. I do yeah. agree oh, with yeah. that. That mm -hmm. one's true. 50 is definitely the new 40. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 50. I think about it, though, Jason. Like when we were kids, when your parents turned 50, they were ancient. Yeah. Yeah. I You're remember. not ancient. No, I yeah. remember my dad's dad. I want to say he was 55. And I was mm -hmm. like, but he's grandpa. You know what I mean? Like, like right. he seemed really old. He seemed really old. No, that's your fifties is like your Clooney years. That's what I say. I'm going into my golden exactly. years. The you Clooney look a lot years. like him. You know what I'm saying? And I, I see it. My bank, my bank account looks a lot like his as well. <laughs> uh, so here's well, a, I think you know, old is thirty years older than however you old you are right now. Yeah, you, you never quite get there. Do older people get the respect they deserve, especially when you look at how like basically boomers and zoomers no. are no. At, in a cultural war, basically? Good lord, no. no. Oh, no. Who listens to those brats? <laughs> Mary Liz for the wind. Okay, day. millennium. Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, like Jason, what nah. Do you no, nah, I mean, the older I got, the 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 more I realized that we're disconnecting from sort of that culture of taking care of our elders and respecting our elders. And I see it in the streets all the time, man. It's no, it's a different world than it used to be. They do not get the respect they should and they deserve. And, you know, that's part of, I think, of our society in general, because our manners have slipped tremendously towards each other, regardless of age. We're not mm -hmm. polite. We're not holding doors. We're not thinking of others first. We're right. always worried something bad's going to happen to us. And I think that that is just probably exacerbated with age. Yeah, even asking the question, I immediately thought of a former coworker of mine who's young enough to be my son, who I, from the get, I don't think ever gave me the proper respect uh, here at the workplace. So, Whoa. Uh, yeah, there's definitely an age gap. And I want to hear that story. Are you kidding me? Right. Uh, when that's a person that's no longer. <laughs> They're no uh, longer <laughs> there. Um, <laughs> what is now considered over the hill? Is it 50, 60, 40, for God's sakes? I don't know. 80. You can 80. be over the hill at any age. Yeah. You know what? That's a good point, Mary Liz, because mm -hmm. like, honestly, I've got somebody in my family who's only three years older than me and he acts like he's a thousand. I know. It's so weird when one of your contemporaries turns into an old fart. It is just shocking. <laughs> right. Well, who's this? I want to know this story. 
back door. <laughs> stories, about, stories all over the place today. Yeah. This is beautiful. <laughs> behind the scenes, behind the scenes on what's the buzz. <laughs> well, you know, one of the things the podcast. We hire a lot of kids here, and we have phenomenal workers who are in high school, right out of high school, early 20s, some of mm-hmm. our best employees, and they are hardworking, they're respectful, they're all the things that we hear the kids are not, but, but they are. You just have to find the right ones. All right. Uh, when you move out on your own, is that coming of age, or is it connected to being a certain age, or graduating high school, or going off to college? I mean, what? I think... Yes, I think it's when you move out on your own to whatever degree that may be. I mean, I don't know. Like when my kids were in college, I was kind of like, okay, but they're still here. They're technically people would call me and my wife empty nesters. I'm like, eh, not entirely. But nest isn't empty when you're still writing checks. Bingo. There we go. You're always gonna write the checks. Let's keep it real. I'm in my forties. My mom wrote me a check like last week. You're always a parent. You cash you know it? What I'm oh, yeah. You cash yeah. It? What are you talking about? Do I cash you it? Better. What are you talking about? I asked her for cash. <laughs> Does she oh, know what Venmo is? You got to love technology. <laughs> um, thanks, guys, for being with us. Always good to Thank see you. Uh, Blaine, give me a shout. I will. All right. Shots to you. Over to you.